Order accepted. Hotkeys in StarCraft II can be customized to your liking fairly easily and with few limitations by using the game client. This has led to the rise of completely from scratch layouts like the core, which are designed to give you a more ergonomic and efficient StarCraft II experience. However, even layouts like the core are not one size fits all. This video will walk you through the basics of hotkey customization. First go to menu, options, and hotkeys to get into the in-game hotkey interface. At the top, you can select layouts from a list of standard and installed layouts. When experimenting with a custom layout, it's usually a good idea to create a new profile and work in that space so you can go back if you make a mistake. To change a hotkey, just click on the function you want to change, then click the box with the key you want to replace or the alternate that you want to add, and press the key on the keyboard that you want to bind to that ability. Conflicts are divided by command cards. Here we see three command cards for a pro. If you try to use the same key for two functions in a command card, the interface will automatically unbind the conflict. However, you can have the same key bound to Forge as well as Twilight Council because they are on different command cards. Understanding this is key to creating the most efficient layout possible. Certain abilities are automatically bound to the same key. For example, changing load on a warp prism will change load on the Medivac, Bunker, Overlord, Nidus Network, and Nidus Worm as well. Hotkeys in the Protoss, Terran, and Zerg tabs are abilities and cannot be bound with combinations of Shift, Control, or Alt. However, they can be bound to any of the F keys, numbers, letters, or symbols that require only one key press. The final tab in Hotkey is called Global. There are a slew of rules here that would take far too long to go into detail. In general, a global hotkey will take priority over any of the ability hotkeys, so make sure you reserve keys and key combinations for global commands that will not be used for abilities. The most common global key binds are cameras and control groups, which by default are bound very inefficiently and are the most commonly rebound keys for lightly modified layouts. When making your modifications, remember that there's no reason you can't have all of your control groups and cameras in an easy to access location. These keys are global keys and can be set using combinations with up to three modifiers, which allow for some very creative solutions to your hotkey problems. That's it for the basics. I hope you enjoy messing with hotkeys as much as I do. My name is Jack Attack, and as always, thanks for watching. If you have any ideas for a video you'd like us to do, please leave it with any questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, or anything we gain with letter C in the comments section below, and I'll see you again soon.